All right, this is the second video we're doing about uh, Leon Edwards and Gunnar Nelson. Already looked at the knockout process and gone through that. Here I want to talk about some of the great uh, counter wrestling, defensive wrestling that Edwards does throughout the fight. And early on in the fight, in the first couple of minutes, he really sets the tone for what happens through the duration, which is uh, Gunnar Nelson trying all kinds of tricks to get him in a difficult spot and get him dominant on the ground. But Leon Edwards just too well versed and uh, doing a great job of the counter wrestling. Very impressive work all the way through from Edwards. In this exchange, Nelson, they basically scramble up from the floor from here and as they come back up to their feet, Nelson's in on the body lock and Edwards' legs come together and he actually manages to reap round the outside and get round both legs to take him down. So he hits this nice little trip round both legs from there to get Edwards to the floor. It then scrambles to the cage and the important stuff here that I want to talk about in particular is this work on the cage. So we're in this position from here, they end up where Edwards is trying to work himself back up from the cage. If we just flip this round for a second, I'll play Edwards here. So Nelson uses that nice trip to get it down to the mat and then from this position, Edwards just about manages to scramble himself to get back towards the cage from this position. There's two really important things to understand whenever you're stuck in this position. The two uh, fundamental key pieces are try to get the knee to the gutter, right? And I've already mentioned this lowest part of the cage and the fence from here. I'm trying to get this knee into it. If I can get this tight so the person can't fit their hand behind it or anything else, it gives me a great opportunity to start standing up. But as I do it, I'm always vulnerable around my back. So I mustn't get my back taken as this is happening. So I need to be in this position here, tight with this knee into the gutter and making sure I've not got a line uh, open around the back. So you need some kind of defensive structure in play on this side and preferably uh, your uh, back onto the cage as often as possible. So what we see here is both people being aware of exactly this and we see this in interesting interplay between these two. So Edwards is here, Gunner's trying to lock up on this leg nice and tight so that he can't get this right knee in this instance back to the cage. Edwards already stacked up, got some nice height over the top of Nelson from here and he keeps a real tight underhook or whizzer on this side so that this person, Gunner Nelson in this instance, can't get any easy access to his back. So his back's against the wall, he's overwrapped on this side, he's stacked up high on this arm and he's trying desperately to get this right knee to the mat. Nelson knows exactly the same but from the other perspective so he's trying desperately not to let Edwards get his leg back to the mat, uh, leg back to the gutter from there and he's trying to see is there any openings on this side to take his back. So he desperately wants you yeah, to get underneath the arm from there. Easy to say, difficult to do, right? In the heat of a match from here, it's super simple to make a little mistake, lift this arm for any reason, just as you're raising up, chill out with this arm, next thing you know, the person's underneath your armpit and your back's being taken. So again, very impressive discipline from Edwards here. He's tight overhook on that side, good shoulder pressure down, keeping his back against the cage. No easy access. For Nelson, you can see him looking for it all the time. And then from here, he's just working to get this knee back. So as he's coming through, as he's trying to get this leg back to the cage, he does get it there temporarily for a second. And now Nelson again, because he's well first, he knows the same thing, right? So he ankle picks from there. Let's just go back on that for a second. So from here, it's one of the reasons why you want the knee tight into the cage. You don't want this person just easily being able to reach around it and pull it out from there. And he does that for Nelson goes in on his ankle, instead he just pulls this ankle off the cage this way to bring that leg out, so he goes underneath it from here, just shooting underneath it, that's it, and pulls it straight down this way, yeah, pulls him back down onto himself again. But it's only enough to bring him down for a second, he just repeats the same process. Above him with the head, making sure he's got a defensive line against the back, up on that arm and just continuously working that right knee out, eventually he gets it again, from here as he starts to get that right knee out, now he just stands up on the other leg, he actually brings it across the front, doesn't cause him any issues from there and he's straight back up in that position. Uh, the kind of processes 
lot of fundamental kind of things that we might talk about all the time as we're drilling these techniques but difficult to do under pressure not so easy when you're in the middle of a fight and someone's trying to actively take you back and get pressure on and get punches in so great discipline second thing just to briefly talk about along the same vein which is defensive wrestling from Edwards in this position he frequently many times during the fight switches hips to get some really good counter wrestling going it's a point you can generally look for often in your counter wrestling especially up against the cage what happens is, is Nelson's shooting in on whatever position we're not going to talk about specific positions for a second just the principle he gets a good defensive uh, placement with his hands and then pushes hard in on that side so even if he was over wrapped from here especially if he was underhooked he's gonna push hard in on that side from there basically give the side that Nelson um, that he's uh, defending on I should say right so if he's defending on his left hip hard with his left arm from there gives that hip and then he switches it so you see how his left hip sticking in towards Nelson his right hips on the wall and now he just switches side quickly from there and gives him right hip instead but it's too much once you've got your partner loaded up on that hip that's not easy to do but it's an important principle so if you've got a good defensive line and you can give the person that side a little bit then potentially you can take it away because you've got that defensive position now I take that hip away and switch hips from there and the person can't catch up fast enough and you see him going back to that principle over and over again it's very effective switching from left to right or right to left and sometimes uh, several times in one exchange so again person comes in whatever way they're in and wrestling as long as you've got a good defensive line from here giving him that hit and then quickly switching out to the other side from there not talking specifics just the general right so left hip I'm giving him a little bit and from there quickly switching to take that left hip away giving the left hip taking it away so that my right hip comes round and sit it's uh, a tactic which he goes to like I say several times and gets really good success out of it something that uh, you can look for yourself when you're training someone's hard in on your hips see if you can switch that angle but make sure you've got a good defensive line on that side first for more videos like this go to ufcsecrets.com uh, more videos about UFC London up now so go take a look